ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's episode of Game Poke, the show where we cover gaming related stuff and talk a load of old bollocks. And today, we are going to talk about things about Sega's Master System that I don't like. Can you fucking believe it? I love the Master System. You may have picked up on that if you've watched just about any other video on this channel. But there are a few little things that I don't like. In fact, they piss me off a fair bit. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're finally going to go over the five things that I don't like about the SMS. First thing is the most obvious thing. It's the fucking pause button. What genius decided... No, alright? Nintendo have got the pause button on the controller. You know, obviously that's wrong. We won't put it there. We'll put it on the body of the console so that you have to get up. What's really annoying is if you're playing a game where pausing brings up, let's say, your item inventory. Great. So I've got to get up quite often, haven't I? And if you play, say, Streets of Rage, the Master System game, it took me ages, fucking ages, to figure out how to get the old copper to come along and drop the bomb with the bazooka and all that shit. And that's because my copy doesn't have a booklet. You do it by pausing the fucking game and pressing a button. Of course I didn't figure that out. I don't pause my Mars system that often because it means I've got to get up out of my fucking chair. It is the dumbest idea of the lot. That's why it's at number one. Because it's fucking stupid. This is why I love the Analog Mega SG. The console is indeed a Mega Drive at heart, but it comes with a converter that gives you the ability to play Master System games on it. More specifically, you can fucking pause with the controller. Now, the Mega SG does not work with Master System controllers. That's a bit of a shit, but it doesn't matter that much because the Analog SG you can use so many Mega Drive controllers and Analog's own uh, wireless controller that's got a really crap name and I can't remember it. <coughs> it's that. And there's a link to a review of that controller. Yes, I have done it before. I've just forgotten the name because the name is Pants. It's not really a name, is it? It's a bunch of letters and numbers just going. <laughs> but you have the ability to press pause. The game pauses. It's fantastic. I think it's the only console you can do that where you play Mars System games. Even if you use the Mars System base converter, which I have one here as I unplug everything. That's how prepared I am, by the way. Even if you put in Mega Drive controller this, press start on Mega Drive button, doesn't pause the game, you still gotta get up and press the fucking fourth fucking button. So isn't that fucking wonderful? And that is the first thing I don't like about the Mars System. The second thing, is a bit of a weird one. I don't actually like the shape of the Master System 1. Um, we're talking about the 1 here, bear that in mind. The 1. I don't like the shape that much. And it's nothing to do with its sort of pyramidy shape. It's nothing to do with the fact that it really doesn't look like any other game console. It's the width I don't like. You ask any game collector, retro or otherwise, that has a Master System, and they will say that the Master System's a pain in the ass because it's so wide. It takes up so much space on the shelves, and sometimes that means I can't have this console next to that one because I've got a Master System, and they're fucking wide. I wouldn't be surprised if they're as wide as an Atari 5200. I don't know if that's true or not, because I don't own a 5200 and I've never fucking had one in my possession. I did see online once that someone out there had created a Master System hack custom creation that essentially plays Game Gear games on the telly and it's modelled to look like a Master System 1, but it's more compressed, it's not as wide and it's blue, which is really nice because it's not something I hate, but it's something I don't like as much. The Mars System's main colour theme is red. When I see red in gaming, I think Nintendo. When I want to think Sega, it's blue. So if the Mars System was blue, oh, the appearance would be so much sexier. 
And I only know that from this Game Gear thing I've seen online. It looks really cool. Not so fucking wide. I don't know why the original Master System had to be, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's not a, as big a hate as the pause button, but it's not a good thing, is it? Third thing. While we've gone on about Master System 1, and while its appearance is a little bit shitty, the Master System 2... I love the appearance of that. I do. I love the whole slidey door thing. I love the, the pause button, which, all right, I hate the fact there is a pause button on the front though. But it being a bit smaller, uh, sorry, much bigger than the small one from the Master System 1, is much better because on the Master System 1, the pause button and the reset button looked very much the same. In fact, they're identical, other than their positioning. So if you're new to Master System and you're in the middle of a game and you think, oh, I've got to pause it, you go down and let's say you push the wrong button, you've reset your entire game. That's a cunt. Master System 2 doesn't have that problem. There is no reset button. And it's not really a problem at all, because off on they are. But the thing I don't like about the Master System 2 is it's RF out only. Which is a huge shit, because RF visual quality is wank, it's terrible, there's nothing good about it. Sucks, doesn't it? My Master System 2, the one I play back here for my recreational time, ignore the rubbish, I'm a terrible person. There you go. Uh, that one's modded. It's got SCART at the back, and it's got the 50 hertz, 60 hertz switch, and all that bollocks that I've got done. But... Yeah, standard Master System 2's RF out only. And if there's any Nintendo fans out there that are pointing and laughing, saying, that's stupid, why would Sega do that? Nintendo did that, you idiot. Alright, the first NES, yes, okay, it wasn't only RF out, nor was the first Master System. So you might think, why would they do it with the Master System 2? NES top loader, it's RF out only. And the weirder thing about that is the Famicom, with their top loader version, the Famicom AV, or AV Famicom, I'm sorry, I can't remember which way around it is. That's AV. It's not RF. So they got it right in Japan, and in America they went, NO! So I can't understand that bullshit, it doesn't make any fucking sense. But anyway, yes, Master System 2, RF out only. Stupid. The fourth thing about Master System is actually more about Master System games. <sighs> Let's be honest here. Master System cases tend to have some pretty piss poor artwork, don't they? Ghostbusters look shit. Pro Wrestling look shit. You do get some good artwork though, like Dragon Crystal, Sonic the Hedgehog. But those are later releases in Master System Library, so it kind of makes sense that they pulled their finger out and tried to change that. But that's not the thing that pisses me off. It doesn't piss me off that the artwork is, more often than not, is bad. It doesn't annoy me, it really doesn't. It does annoy me is that it's not like that in Japan. In Japan, they got it right. Well, kind of. Out there in Japan, they didn't have the plastic cases. So, that's a dumb. It just is, straight up. But what they did have was some fantastic artwork. Fantastic artwork. If you look at Fantasy Star, you look at the Master System version, and then you look at the Sega Mark III, and its artwork. What's more annoying is that all Master System games, it's just a red sticker with white text. I say all, there are a few variations where it's white with uh, text, or blue with text, if it's tech toy or something. And yes, there's the Codemaster games, which are an entirely different fucking shape, and they do have artwork, them ones. But the majority, we will all agree, is just a bollocks colour with a grid and shitty text. Not in Japan! In Japan they made an effort. There's colour! There's pictures, there's drawings, there's artwork that more often than not matches the artwork on the box, but I don't care. It looks fantastic. Why did they get that, but we didn't? Can anyone tell me? I feel a bit ripped off. And the final thing of today, it's not the worst thing at all, but it is a huge failing. 
the D-pad. Now we've recently done a video on mass system controllers, so I don't have to go into a huge song and dance about the detail or anything, but I will emphasize this yet again. The D-pad is squishy, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't sound right even on my best controller. It's just, it's nowhere near as nice as an NES controller, and I hate to admit that. Yeah, I, there's no point going in more detail. I know the final one of all the things I don't like about Mars System was short, making this video shorter than normal, but I don't care. I, I just had to throw that out there. I don't like the D-pad on Mars System controller. So there you go. So yes, that was a shorter than normal video because there's not much to hate about the Mars System because the Master System is the dog's bollocks. It is the unicorn's tits. It is the goddess's vagina. The Master System is awesome. Them five things aren't too brilliant, but the rest is fucking great. Okay, yep, right, we're gonna end it there. If you have thought of any other things about the Master System that are not good, keep them to yourself, I don't want to know. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like, leave a comment, subscribe, all that bollocks that needs to be done, or us YouTubers just say fuck it, go home and have a little cry. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time.